Hello, my name is Bill Simon. I'm a CPA with the firm of WH Simon & Company, and I'm also president of that firm. We have been in business for over 25 years, and during that period, we have provided representation on an exclusive basis to individuals and businesses across the country. We rely very heavily on other CPAs and attorneys to refer their clients to us, but we think people such as yourself who are perusing the internet may need some assistance in deciding who to engage. Today we would like to talk with you about the delinquent tax liabilities that you might have, i.e. you owe IRS money and you simply can't pay it. I want to explain to you today the process that IRS goes through in collecting their money. First of all, they will send you notices, and a series of notices, three or four notices, will be mailed from a campus of IRS. That is a computer processing center wherein they will send you notices on a recurring basis, and each notice becomes a little more threatening, and they tend to move in a direction of threatening to seize your assets or levy on your wages or on your bank account. So the first step is going to be a series of notices. If that doesn't get your attention, typically you will receive as a minimum a phone call from the Internal Revenue Service saying that they have attempted to collect the monies but have been unsuccessful. These calls don't always take place, but many times they do. In those phone calls, they will attempt to secure various financial data from you, including where you work, where you bank, what assets you own, what type of income you have. And many times they are developing a financial snapshot of your situation to provide them with opportunities for collecting the money. The next step will be possibly a visit from a revenue officer, person who's charged with collecting delinquent taxes, wherein they will ask for similar information, or they may in fact ask you to come to their office, or even issue you an administrative summons requiring you to come to their office and provide them with information. In any event, if the taxes are ultimately unpaid, they may resort to filing a federal tax lien. A tax lien is a document that is filed in the county courthouse in the county in which you reside or work or you have assets, and that lien attaches to all assets that you own, including your personal residence. It will come behind the first or second or third mortgage holder, but it will be very similar to a mortgage on all of your assets. Probably the more effective way they have of collecting delinquent taxes is through a levy. Under state um, law, many times that's referred to as a garnishment. Under federal law, it's a levy. This is a document they would send to your employer and say, send us his paycheck or her paycheck after allowing them a minimum amount of money that is calculated by a table that accompanies the levy. And then your employer is forced to remit that money every payday to the Internal Revenue Service. They can also issue a levy to a bank, wherein the bank receives the levy and on that date they have to freeze your account. Whatever funds are in the account as of that date, to the extent of the amount of money that's owed to IRS, the bank is legally obli obligated within 21 days to forward those funds to the Internal Revenue Service, unless you work out an arrangement with IRS to convince them to release that levy before the funds are remitted to the Internal Revenue Service. The levy would apply even though you may have outstanding checks, meaning that the checks, in fact, would bounce and you would incur additional service charges. Uh, this is a very serious tool that IRS uses to get your attention. All of these things can be avoided with the proper representation it is very critical when you owe IRS taxes not to ignore them. Do not bury your head in the sand. This is an issue that has to be dealt with. It does not get better with time. It is not like fine wine. These issues must be dealt with and dealt with on a timely basis or you will find yourself at the end of all of these bad situations I've referred to 
like levies and liens and possibly even the seizure of assets such as automobiles, uh, boats, RVs, and even your personal residence. So keep that in mind as you uh, deal with delinquent tax liabilities. We are continually updating uh, these videos on our YouTube channel. Please feel free to tune in. They're usually changed on a weekly basis. Uh, in addition, if you would like to contact our office and discuss your individual situation with us, feel free to do so at the website list or the email address listed below, and we will respond to you within 24 hours. Thank you very much for your attention, and I look forward to hearing from you.